here in Forest Rose Cemetery. Now you're asking yourself, why am I in Forest Rose Cemetery? Is it haunted? Yes. Is it where my grandfather's buried? Yes. Is it where Tackleberry. Mr. Tackleberry from Police Academy mo movies is buried? The answer? Yes. All right, and we're gonna be exploring it today. All right, so we're here. This was a cool fact I did not even know about. The fact that Mr. Tackleberry is buried here. Paul David Graft, his whole family and the family plot, I think his like great great grandparents are here as well. Uh, there's a right back on there, so that big one. Yeah. There's a uh, World War II vet that's buried right next to this tree right here. That's cool. Yeah. Now let's look here. Uh, Amelia and Tobias Anderson. And then Madeline. Right, here's an Anderson and right behind you is an Anderson. Yeah. This place is well preserved, well guarded and everything. It's one of the best looking cemeteries I've ever been to. But if you look there, that's one of the coolest uh, tombstones I've ever seen. And there is a couple mausoleums. There's one right there. And there's one right there that's probably just as old as the start of this cemetery. Let's walk up to that real quick. Let's go to it. So, on the haunted factor, this place has a ghost of a white woman roaming the grounds at night, and she smells like roses. And she still lurks at the cemetery to this day. I never heard of a uh, last name called Unks. Wetzel. Oh, and they bricked off the entrance. Well, dude, once they're buried, they're buried. But Wetzel must have been very high in money back in the day in order to get a tombstone like that or a mausoleum, have you. you? Got a lot of World War II veterans and World War I veterans buried as well. Yeah, I think it's uh, the crypt. Dude, I love that one. The big ball on the, on the top. Okay, Andrew Eberly. 1831 to 1894. There's no way his wife is still alive. Oh, this is a family thing. <laughs> unless the, uh, unless the, uh, Grave eroded over the years. Dude, this cemetery could go on for miles. Just look at the top of the hill. 
foot. Light foot. Raymond and Joanne Lightfoot. They died here recently. Married October 9th, 1991. 19th, 1991. Yeah. Yeah, Lightfoot. I know you got another Deeds. Yeah, there's another Deeds. The I thought the angel had horns, and I'm like, oh god, I don't want to step on that. Flores Road Cemetery was established in 1883 in Lancaster, Ohio. However, it wasn't called Flores Road Cemetery to start out with. The story goes is that the cemetery was split between two different properties. One was housing the Lutheran Cemetery that was established in 1848. The other portion of it was German burying grounds that was established in 1826. However, in 1883, the city of Lancaster purchased the farmland to use the cemetery, and then therefore on, the two burying properties merged into what is now Forest Rose Cemetery. Now that the story of the cemetery is told, let's tell the paranormal side of things. Witnesses who have visited the cemetery late at night have reported the sighting of a ghost of a woman wearing a flowered pink and white dress. She has a very distinguishable scent to her. The scent you may ask? The scent of roses. The operation has been spotted in several different sections of the cemetery, along next to the mausoleum that was on the hillside. Actually, I think it's this one. This one right here being shown in the video for you to see. Did I have to visit the cemetery at night? Cause she may be waiting for you. Either next to the mausoleum or amongst the several others that are buried on the grounds of the cemetery. Do say hello and give her a friendly greeting if you do see her. Cause she's just there to enjoy the peace among the grounds. Okay, so Charles uh, L. Eckert. Charles L. Eckert. Born 1849, died 18, 1915. Yeah, she died one year after he did. His wife? One year after he... Morning? They must have been really in love. Let me see if I can. Dude, that one's hard to read. Whatever this tombstone is. No one bothered to get a tombstone for it. No, this looks like one of the old flat slate ones that just yeah. broke off. Holy God. It's kind of like that flat one right there, but there's two that are standing up. But yeah, I feel, I, I feel like this is a stand. It could be a stand too. Cause what I'm thinking is, Travis, it's one light, it's that little one right there standing up, or that little one right there standing up, or that little one down there. There ain't one of those two right there. Yeah, it could be that too. 
right. this is the end of the video and uh, we'll see you next time this was forest road cemetery stay safe please subscribe to the Punkcraft channel Please hit that notification bell! And thank you for watching, leave a comment, bye!